Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you get the perfect red lip for New Year's. So if you want to see how I get that, then please keep on watching. Firstly, I'm going to go in with my foundation that I've always been using. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 235 Pure Beige. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my hand. like wearing too much foundation because then it's noticeable and people can see it <clears throat> but I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna mix in my elf illuminator it's basically a highlighter in liquid form it'll add a little bit of a glow to our face so then just with my fingers I'm just gonna mix this all in now of course you can use a brush but I just prefer to use my fingers Sun, you can really see that glow that the illuminator gives. I like to add a little bit more where I have like some problem areas, which are like my cheeks. I like to add a little bit more there and really less on my forehead. You don't have to put in the illuminator, you could just add in highlighter after. But I have it and I just want to add a little bit of a glow to the entire face. Just the remaining that I have, I'm just going to add to my forehead. And make sure that you get all the way up to your hairline so that we don't see any um, like discoloration up there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my foundation and again. I'm just going to grab a little bit and add it right under my eye. Just dot a little bit. my ring finger to pat it down at the end since this is our like lightest finger and it's the most softest in our skin I try to use it as much as I can because we don't want to stretch the skin under the eye because it's very delicate down there it'll cause bags so next I'm gonna go in with my elf concealer and this is in the color 83251 fair and I'm just gonna take a little bit and add it under my eye Mine's almost done, I need to get another one, but I think it'll do for this video. Or will it? And then with my ring finger, I'm just gonna dab it in. This look is gonna be perfect for like New Year's or Christmas, any party in general, but I think for New Year's as that is approaching now, this would be the perfect look. So once I'm done with that, then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 230 uh, Natural Buff. And I'm just going to use a little sponge that they give, dab it a little bit, and mostly just go under my eye. Because this is a very dewy look, I don't want to add the powder everywhere. Alright, so our base is complete now. And so it looks like this. I'm actually gonna go in with a little tissue and just make sure that there's no foundation, concealer, or powder on my eyebrows. And then the next step now is to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it quite simple because our lips are gonna be red and they're basically gonna be the main attraction of the look. And for the eyes, I'm gonna go in first with my e.l.f. eyelid primer and this is in the color 21711 sheer so I'm just going to take a little bit add it to my eye just with my fingers blend it in this will just help the eyes pop a little bit like the eyeshadow that we go in with will just stand out a little bit more Make sure that you go also into the inner corners all the way to the outer corner of the eye. Everywhere where the eyeshadow will be applied. So I'm going to go in with my MAC palette next. Looks like this. 
And so with this shimmery brown shade, I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid. And again, I'm gonna use my finger. If you haven't noticed already, I'm more of a finger person than brush. Um, that's a personal preference. You can always use a brush. I just find it easier and I've always used my fingers to apply eyeshadows, foundations, really anything that doesn't, that's not like too liquidy. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Just add a good amount because this is pretty much gonna be the only eyeshadow that we use on our eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in uh, back, actually back with that palette, and I'm gonna use a brush. I'm finally using a brush, guys. I'm gonna go in with my brush, and this is the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush, and this black color right here, so any black, you could just use any like dark, dark color or black, preferably. And we're gonna use this to make the eyeliner. I wanna smudge out the eyeliner a bit and make it not too harsh, so I'm just gonna go in with this. And like it'll add a little bit of like a smoky effect without going too much into a smoky eye. I'm just gonna add it like so. Don't worry if the line is not too perfect because we are gonna smudge it out in a bit. Don't take it too much into the uh, inner corner of the eye though. Okay, and then once we have something like this, I'm gonna take a little like tissue and I'm just gonna dab off the excess on the brush. Make it a clean brush and then with little motions, I'm just gonna use it to just blend up like this. Just bl blend into the eyeshadow taking away the harshness. Okay, so this is kind of the eyeliner look so far. And then I'm gonna go in with an actual high, um, eyeliner. Did I say highlighter look? I meant eyeliner. This is by NYX and this is in the color black. It's a liquid eyeliner, so any liquid black eyeliner would do. I really like these like like nail polish type ones. I feel like you have more control. I don't really like the pen ones. And you do want to go on with a liquid eyeliner for this part because we're adding the wing, so we need that to be really precise and I think it's the easiest if you use a liquid one. And now I'm gonna go back in with my eyeliner. I'm going with a thin line right where I did my eyeshadow here. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna add in the black eyeshadow right on top of this. And don't take it to the inner corner. We actually want to brighten up that area, so avoiding like dark colors there. So as you can see, the black eyeliner, it didn't take over the black eyeshadow that we put right underneath. That's still peeking through, which is what we want. So then I'm going to go back in with my palette. I'm just going to, first of all, make sure that it's dried, otherwise it will smudge and then that will be good. So once it's dried, go in again like, like this. You 
don't want to blend it out like too much to the point where it's like gone, but just enough so the harsh line is gone. The reason for adding the black eyeliner afterwards was to add in a little bit more color. This one fades a little bit, so it's just nice to go in with an actual eyeliner. Okay, so of course, because this is a very like dewy look, we're definitely gonna go in with some highlighter on the eye. So this is my Iridescent MAC Press Powder, which is pretty much a highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Angled Eyeliner Brush. And then I'm also going to take my ring finger and add some right under the brow bone. Alright, and so now next I'm going to go in with some false eyelashes. go in with my eyeliner just to make sure and just cover any of the, the glue part. So for our bottom lashes and just for the our actual lashes under these falsies, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Big Curl. I always do this with mascaras because it always looks clumpy and there's so much. I'm really just going for the roots and I don't want to bring it out too much because my eyelashes are like the false ones are already long enough now I don't need them any longer so just really just to blend just push them in and now we're gonna move on to our cheeks our cheekbones our blush bronzer all that the bronzer I'm gonna go in with is my one that I've always used in all my videos, the Sun Queen 003 uh, by Rimmel. And this is my e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush. I'm just gonna do a little bit like this. And now I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is by Maybelline Fit Me again, and this is in the color Plum. So I'm gonna take that and take my e.l.f. Blush Brush, Tap it in, blush brush, tap it in. And I like to tap it in like this because I find that it ends up moving my foundation too much if I rub too much with the small brush. So tap it in like this while smiling. And I'm gonna go back in with that highlighter that I used before. Taking my ring finger, ring finger circling around a little bit. I like to go up a little bit up to here, right like where my brows end. Okay, and I'm gonna take some, put it right down my nose. Just a bridge of it, not too much. I'm gonna take some and add it right to my cupid's bow. So now it's time for lipstick and I'm gonna go with a very, very cherryish color more than a reddish color. This is the color uh, Melt Your Heart. It's a lip liner actually by Essence. So I'm gonna take this lip liner and put it all over my lips. I actually like to fill in my lips with the lip liner too. Okay, so this is the color that we have right now. And I'm actually gonna, it's, I really like the color, but I'm actually gonna go in with a gloss. You can leave it at this if you want a matte look. And I'm actually just going in with a lip liner. I'm not gonna go in with a lipstick. You can do that if you want. I really like this color, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And so the lip gloss that I'm gonna go in with is 
by Essence as well. And I don't know what color it is actually. Oh, it says Happiness in a Bottle 07. I'm dabbing it so I don't move around the uh, the, eyeliner, the, the lip liner too much. So this is what this color looks like with the lip gloss. Okay, so now because this is a get ready with me, I'm gonna grab some earrings and I'll be right back. Okay, so for my earrings, I have a couple of choices. I really like this one. I really like the brown that it has, like the champagne color. I think it really matches the eye look that we went for. But then the classic white earring is always gonna look good since this is a black dress. So which one do you think looks good with this dress? Let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it matches our eye look and like it's super like glamorous and it's really shiny. I'm not gonna go in with a necklace. I think that there's already enough happening with the face and the earrings. So I'm gonna skip the necklace and I'm looking at my rings. So these are more like a rose gold champagne type of color. So that's it. And then for hair, my hair is actually straightened right now. Just gonna keep it the way it is. And then finally, we obviously need some really nice heels to go with this. So here I have these heels. They're gold, but they're not too gold. They kind of go a little bit with this brownish champagne color. And yeah, they're pretty high too. So I think they're perfect for this dress. So this is the finished look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see next. And until next time, bye guys.